Good day, students. Uh, welcome to mapgoodserve.com. Uh, we're going to be going over problem 16 on our series on proof by mathematical induction. Don't forget to visit our website at mapgoodserve.com for access to a wide variety of math tutorials ranging from algebra to calculus. All right, so before we start with the proof, let's go ahead and summarize our plan um, of attack. The whole idea of proof by mathematical induction, the process can be broken down into three parts. The first part is known as the base case. Um, in the problem we're doing, the smallest um, value of n is uh, the, the smallest number in a set of natural numbers. So base case, we're gonna show that n equals 1 is true. It, it doesn't always start from 1. You just start from the smallest integer that satisfies the condition you're trying to prove, OK? And then the second part of a proof by mathematical induction is the inductive hypothesis. Inductive hypothesis, um, you just have to make an assumption. You're going to assume that, assume that the statement is true for some k value. So assume that n equals k is true. All right, so you're just picking an arbitrary k in the set of the integer values that satisfy the conditions of the problem. And then you're going to assume that that is true. And then the last part, which is normally the complicated part, is the inductive step. All right, so in the inductive step, you just have to show that n equals k is true by assumption follows that follows that the next step n equals k plus 1 is also true all right so that domino effect basically continues for all um, um, natural numbers if you have one an arbitrary k and the next case holds as a result of k being true then you can conclude by induction that the statement is true for all um, integers that satisfy the initial condition. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, problem number 15. Problem 15, we are to um, prove that, prove that um, 8 to the n minus 1 is divisible by um, 7 for all uh, positive integers, positive integers, n. All right, so this is the same thing as a set of um, uh, natural numbers, all right? Okay, now that we have this, let's go ahead and start with our base case, which is part one. Part one is the base case, and as indicated earlier, we want to sh um, show that uh, n equals 1 is true, all right? So show that n equals 1 is true. But I need a mathematical statement so that I can um, substitute my 1 into to show that my statement is true or false. So if 8n minus 1 is divisible by 7, what equation can I write um, to show indicate divisibility? Or how can I represent this statement in a mathematical form. So if a to n minus 1 is divisible by 7, in mathematical form, I can write it as a statement, Sn is a to the n minus 1 is equal to 7m for some integer m. All right, so this is what I'm trying to show is true. So that's, a, that's the mathematical form of this statement right here. Okay, so let's start with n equals 1. For n equals 1, we are going to um, basically try to show that, we're going to try and show that s of 1 is true. So s of 1 is simply what you get when you substitute 1 into the left side of the equation. So you're going to have 8 to the 1 minus 1, which is equal to 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1 is 7. Can 7 be expressed as a multiple of 7? Absolutely, 7 times 1. Is 7. So since 7 is an integer multiple of 7, it follows that um, 7 divides 7, which is obvious, but um, that's what we are trying to show. Okay, in this case, m is equal to 8. 
to 1. So the statement is true for um, n equals 1. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next part, the inductive hypothesis. Inductive hypothesis. So for the inductive hypothesis, um, you're going to make an assumption here. So we're going to assume that n equals k is true. Now, how do you do that? Well, all you simply do is you take a look at the original statement and you substitute n with k, all right? So, so let's go ahead and write it down. We're going to assume, assume that um, s sub k, which is 8 to the k, 8 to the kth power minus 1 equals <clears throat> 7m is true for some integer for some integer m okay for some integer m we're going to assume that this is true all right let's move on to the third part which is the um, inductive step now, if this is true by assumption, does it follow that the next step in a set of positive integers is also true? That's what we have to show. So let's go ahead and write it down. Inductive step. Inductive step. So what's the goal here for the inductive step? We have to show that um, n equals k is true follows that n equals k plus 1 is also true. All right. So for this part, we're going to start with s sub k plus 1. Um, so that just involves substituting k plus 1 for n in our original statement right here. OK. We're starting with the left side. <clears throat> and we want to see if we end up with um, uh, an expression that's divisible by 7. So we have 8 to the k plus 1 minus 1. Now, using the properties of exponents, I can decompose this exponential expression right here. I can write it as 8 to the k times 8 to the first power minus 1. Okay? If that looks confusing, think about this um, rule of ex exponents. Um, if you have 8 to the x times 8 to the y, when you multiply an exponent with the same base, what do you do? You add the exponents, right? So the reverse is also true. Um, a to the x plus y, you can decompose it as a to the x times a to the y. All right, so I'm just using this um, rule of exponents, the product property of exponents. I'm using the reverse direction to decompose 8 to the k plus 1. That's how I have this, uh, these two terms right here. Okay, now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give it a number. Let's call this um, let's call this uh, one. No, actually, I want to call this two, and then let's call this one right here. Let's call this equation one. All right, now how can I use one and two? That's the goal. So let's see what we can do here. Let's write down the following since. Since um, we know that 8 to the k minus 1 is equal to 7m, wait a minute, how do we know this? From our inductive hypothesis, we know this is true based on our assumption, right? From 1, we can carry out some algebraic manipulations to this equation right here. How about we add 1 to both sides? So that follows that um, 8 to the k is equal to 7m plus 1. Okay? Now how about we substitute 7m plus 1 for 8k in equation 2 in our inductive step. So let's go ahead and write down what we're about to do. Substitute substitute um, 7 to the 7m plus 1 for 8 to the k in um, equation 2. Let's go ahead and make that substitution. So I'm going to write down the whole thing so we can keep track of what we're doing. So we have s k plus 1, which is 8 to the k plus 1 minus 1. 
and then we broke it down using the order of operation, I mean, properties of exponents as a to the k times a to the first power minus one. Now I'm going to make this substitution. Um, see this a to the k here? Instead of a to the k, I'm going to replace it with 7m plus one. Let me color code it so you can see exactly what I'm doing. 7m plus one times eight minus one. Remember what the goal is again. The goal is to show that s to the k plus one is divisible by seven. Can I write a to the k minus one as an integer multiple of seven? That's the goal, all right? You always wanna keep that in mind so you don't get lost in your own work. Now let's distribute the eight to these two terms. We're going to have 56 m plus eight minus one. Simplify further, we are going to have um, 56m plus 7. Now notice that you can factor out 7 from these two. So you have 7 times 8m plus 1. Now what do we know about 8m plus 1? It's an integer since um, integers are closed under addition and multiplication. Okay, so 8m plus 1 is an integer by closure. Um, so let 8m plus 1 equals, how about we call it p for some integer p. All right. Okay. So now what can we do? Let's see. I can rewrite um, the statement um, s sub k plus 1, which is 8 to the k plus 1 minus, I can't see what it is, what is that, minus 1, okay, minus 1 as 7, instead of times 8m plus 1, 7p. Now what does this mean? This automatically means that um, uh, 7 divides 8k plus 1, since you can write 8 to the k plus 1 minus 1 as an integer multiple of 7. So this implies that um, 7 divides 8k plus 1 minus 1. Another way to say this is um, 8k plus 1 minus 1 is divisible by 7. All right, they mean exactly the same thing. All right, so let's write our conclusion. Since the statement, so the statement holds or is true for n equals 1, the foundation of the base case, and truth for an arbitrary k for n equals k implies that, implies that the next step implies that n equals k plus 1 is also true. Then the statement, the statement the original statement where it asks to prove um, the statement is true for all positive integers. All right, so that's basically that. So you put your little box of accomplishments to indicate that you're done with your proof. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I appreciate it. Do feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. And do post a comment to let us know what you think. More clips can be found on markgodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.